Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Place of Finding Vice Afterbirth. Uh, doing pretty well on the random streak so far. Can't complain, can't complain. It went up by one because I did do one on the NLSS. It's a bad habit. It wasn't a random run, it was an, an Azazel run. 88WP. That's almost like GGWP. 2AAT. Kind of a weird looking seed as Lazarus here. Not bad, just unusual. Um, I kind of want to pop this pill next to that stone chest and pot area up there which would be a great name for like a spice store the store a, a pub that sells lentil soups the stone chest and pot in, we're located in northeastern berkshire hathaway now excuse me if you could uh slowly roll a little bit yo the speed at which you are moving is a pace that is unmatched uh by by my abilities right now you're kind of freaking the people out just relax Tears up. Well, there's no reason not to have used it right now. Uh, there is a tinted rock right over here, and we made it. Not supposed to pick that up yet. You're not supposed to pick up that spirit heart yet. That's the that's the trick to that situation. My mistake. Luckily, there are more spirit hearts. Hopefully, we get some bombs somehow. Justice card. Okay. Well, at some point, the dream may become a reality, but it might not be on this floor. In which case, we totally do want to keep the spirit heart. Just in case, uh, you know, it allows us to kind of leave our options open for the future. Thank God we got this tears upgrade. Without that, I would be pretty disappointed in the way things look right now. Okay, you guys get over there by the explosive barrel! Okay, you know what? The haunt himself at the explosive barrel then. That's how this shit's about to go down. There goes the spirit heart. It's okay, don't freak out yet. Um, is there any fire left? It totally worked. If there is fire left, then I have no problem killing this dude, and if he gives us HP, we'll just respawn. If there is no fire left, by the way, I don't really care if he hits us. It might be better for us if he does. That's, uh, that's not, wait, that's Cracker Jacks, right? For some reason, I thought that was TNT. I thought it was Dynamite. It's TNT. Oi. I said, we don't need to go all the way down there. Oh, there is fire left. Fantastic. Okay, kill ourselves. Take, uh, Cracker Jacks. Get a trinket. No spirit heart, sadly. Could have had that spirit heart uh, to buoy us for the next floor, but that's my own mistake. We'll live with it. Gave us fuse cutters, which in a way is almost like getting the ability to get more bombs, I guess. Probably unlikely to be super useful for the next floor or two, but, you know, I'm, I'm for this in the whole scheme of things. We have a tears upgrade, a damage upgrade, an HP upgrade. Certainly not a bad start as any character. And last time I checked, Lazarus uh, definitely fits the bill there. Okay. These guys can shoot. So we should stay as far away as is humanly possible. Alright. <laughs> One of the spiders just jumped into us from like 90% of the way across the map. And just to add insult to injury, then they give us uh, the Hierophant right afterwards. It's like, if you survived that room, you piece of shit, you could have gotten the deal with the devil guaranteed. Way to go, you piece of garbage. All right, well, don't call me a pizza garbage, okay? I'd take a pizza garbage over uh, anything else. I don't know why I almost said my Sylvester Stallone impression right there. Um, what, do you, what do you think? What do you think about this? We didn't... Well, we got unlimited keys, which is nice. I thought maybe we could also get the value out of that bomb area over there, which we did not. I would really like to see a deal with the devil here. I would just like to ball out of control ASAP. I know it's a tall ask. Yeah, we did it. We also got the Halo, which is pretty solid. Oh, okay. Um, people will complain. And you know what? They have every right to complain about this. Halo Brimstone. It's a decent haul, I'd say, to start with here. Can't see where we're going, but we haven't seen the uh, nice nice damage right there. We also have not seen um, the item room on this floor yet. So just slow your roll a little bit. Keep the lover's card over two of hearts, I suppose. There's that. Okay, this is pretty much a foregone conclusion that we have a great chance of winning. Wouldn't say guaranteed, but, you know, we're getting pretty close. Definitely wouldn't write guaranteed, because that's a tricky word. Where there's like six U's in it? Come on here. Not all about undulating like that. Um, like, a, like a freaking grammatical snake or something. Don't really want Isaac's head. I 
Emergency contact. Is that really our best option? No, probably crystal ball is our best option. And then we get two of clubs, put a bomb down here. Rerolled into Bumbo. Sorry, Bumbo. Get my reflection. I think it does nothing. Okay. Possibly not horrible. And we also get IV bag, which is strangely kind of like temporarily appropriate. Takes us over five cents. Actually, my reflection totally works and is horrible. <laughs> this is... Alright, well, it's a strange synergy. I can get down with a strange synergy. I think we've had this before. I don't really remember uh, how we make it work, but we're sort of not not making it work. You know, just by moving back and forth, we're getting something done there. So we left behind emergency contact. Honestly, if it was anything better, I'd be interested, but I'm not really... If it was like a Joker card, I'd be all over it, but it's not a Joker card, so I'm not all over it. Probably not all over that either. That was a little bit of weird positioning there. We did get Guppy's Collar for free. Hey man, if you want to make this a 12 minute run, by all means, be my guest. Just give me two Guppy items on this floor that we may or may not deserve. I guess it would be three Guppy items that we may or may not deserve. One makes you small is fine. Um, You know what, maybe after this run, while I'm here... That was terrible dodging. Um, it's weird because you like pivot around the final point of your brimstone laser. Yeah, we'll probably take Callus here. Um, whenever you move, you, you pivot at like the end point. Or do you pivot on where the enemy is? I don't know. It's, it's freaking me out a little bit. Um, or does it change based on how far away you are? You really don't want to be moving when you shoot. It causes it to have like this bending effect that quite honestly just looks, you know... Painful from a genitalia perspective. Got a Hermit World. We'll take this. To keep the Hermit card with us, use that to get out of Boss Rush, possibly. Although, we don't have a great case for getting out of Boss Rush, considering we're so strong. Uh, and we just teleported. Okay. I forgot what I was going to say. But, maybe we'll do an Eden run. I think that's what I was going to say. We'll do an Eden run after this while I'm here. So I remember. Um, just because we've kind of gotten a little bit ridiculously overpowered on our recent runs, and it's very Canadian of me. Yeah, sure. Hot bombs. It's very Canadian of me, but I kind of feel bad that we've gotten so overpowered. Which doesn't even make any sense, really, but I'm like, man, Mom's Knife Brimstone showing up an awful lot as our runs with just absurdly high damage. Must be something wrong with me, right? But it will do an Eden run to, to stem the tide of people being angry that my RNG is really good. Plus, I enjoy Eden runs to begin with. And... Death. I guess we'll take it in. Don't expect it to be very beneficial, but it did like as much as one brimstone laser. No deal, so no guppy right off the bat, but uh, an orbital is useful. As we head down to our next floor. Spent all our money on the reroll machine there, so... We've got a way to go. When it comes to, you know, being financially prudent here. I really, like, here's what I know about the way that... Brimstone, my reflection works right now. Hematemesis. Um, if you move down, the laser will curve up. If you move up, the laser will curve down. Everything else is a mystery. It's pretty much my understanding of the the female anatomy. You know, you do this, this happens. You do this, this happens. But all the machinery that that actually you know fires to make those events take place, I have no idea. You know, I don't know his name. I just know the sound of me. Every time it comes Sylvester Stallone again. I don't know what his name is. I just know the sound it makes when it takes a man's life. It's not even a good Sylvester Stallone impression. People think Sylvester Stallone is stupid, man, just because he... I mean, they think he's stupid because he played a stupid dude in Rocky. How stupid is that? People don't go around saying, hey, you know, well, I guess also he has a... He's in action movies, so we just buy... I don't know, every time I make my mouth do that, just by association, I'm gonna be dumb because I'm associated with the mindless genre of cinema. Yo, he won he won an Oscar for best original screenplay and wrote the best picture in 1976. You know what that fucking movie was? It was freaking Rocky Dog. Admittedly, this franchise got dragged down a little bit, but still. You know, you gotta give some respect there. It's too easy. People always resort to the the cheap caricature. Um, myself included. But at the same time, he's actually he's an intelligent individual. Smarter than I am, at least, I'll tell you that much. Luck down. Not interested in what you're selling. 
Uh, that's definitely enough money to make our shop worthwhile, so I'm glad we came this way. Why use a bomb to get in here? Uh, why not fight the mini-boss right away? Let's fight like eight different versions of Gluttony here. We got Little Gluttony, aka Snack. And then we got Mega Gluttony, aka Thanksgiving Dinner. Which is a great aka for a, a wrestler or a, a boxer. Almost as good as a, was it Strange Normal? Strange Decent, that was it, dude. Strange Decent is a great name. Can't be the WWF with that. WWE, sorry, but you could, uh, you can go somewhere with that. You know what? Take my four cents. All right. <laughs> we tried. It's still like a, what am I going to complain about? This run's looking good. This run's so good, the only thing I'm complaining about is that people think that Sylvester Stallone is actually a little stupid, but he's a genius. People don't accept it. Rocky 1, to a lesser extent 2, to a different extent 4, but then legitimately Balboa are all classics. Ooh. Yeah, you know what? Let's go wild and use mascara. I, uh... I don't take this item that much, for obvious reasons. And it does make Brimstone a little dangerous, because it's going to take forever to charge. But we did get that Tears upgrade earlier. So, uh, it, we're not having too much trouble charging it, honestly. And, of course, it gives us that extra... Uh, potency when we walk into the room. Somehow we did not take damage there. Also, kind of a sobering thought to realize that probably your best way of dealing damage is still cube of meat. That's life, though. No deal with the devil again. We definitely should have waited till the next floor to pop that, but got Hermit Stars. Uh, I think a Stars card is probably better for teleporting to uh, out, of, out of Boss Rush. That's my assumption, at least. We know we're going to be able to make something happen on the item room. Might not necessarily be able to make something happen on the shop, but it's it's pretty minor. Uh, I think you hanged man in. You can actually, you know what? Just to be a mental exercise, check this shit out. You ready? I'm going to show you how to get out of this uh, curse room without taking damage. You pop the hanged man, take the shit that you dropped. Go in, crack that open, get a spirit heart, stars card out. Look at that. Now, was it worth it to save half a spirit heart? Absolutely not. Would have been much better off losing the half spirit heart. And then, um... Who? Much better off losing the half spirit heart and probably keeping the stars card instead. But, um, you know, what's done is done. And I don't really regret it because it kind of was... It was an intelligent play. Well, it was an intelligent play in, in mechanically. In terms of the actual outcome, perhaps not. Mom's wig is fine, though. Almost walked into that. Probably should have been hit by that. This floor is our baby. It's our darling angel. It's closer than our peeps it is to me. Baby. We're going to be looking out for... Well, yeah. We got another stars card back, which is nice. You know, because I used my last stars card in what I would describe as an intellectual exercise. To teach people a little bit about this wonderful game we call Isaac. Death. Nah, not not too invested. Um, this should be a pretty good crack at a deal with the devil for us. And by pretty good crack, I mean unless we lose our spirit hearts, we should have like a 100% chance. Which is my favorite chance in XCOM and Isaac and Darkest Dungeon. And uh, the casino. I don't know. Other various places where random number generation is important. Terrible damage at the end there. Ooh. We have Brims. This is like a new level of unconscious ineptness. Ineptitude, I guess. We're, we have Brimstone, but we're using Cube of Meat to deal damage. Why? It's slightly faster. Plus, my, my brimstone laser does a lot of damage, but it has a weird curve in it. So, it doesn't... It's hard to hit enemies. I'd like to hit enemies better. Why are you gonna put on that voice when you say something that's not fair? That, that one went a little bit in the direction that was not necessarily Sylvester Stallone-ish. Okay. I think you don't use Crystal Ball on this floor that was extremely dumb I think you save it because we're so close to getting to the boss anyway I really thought we could hit multiple at the same time 
It worked. Okay. Save it for the next floor so you have a little bit of mapping. You know where you're going. Three black hearts or blue hearts, please. Okay, two is it's better than you'd expect. And it's always Cramperino, man. Anytime you want something, too bad. This is the Krampus show now. Thank you for not rotating, at least. We get Krampus' head. Honestly, I think I'm a lot better off with Crystal Ball here. So we'll just leave. Use our Stars card to get out of the boss rush. Is this even Depths 2? Yeah, this is Depths 2. Okay, so we can see where we're going now. I also got an Emperor card, um, which is what we'll take after we use our Stars card. So let's go back here. We got tons of time. Nothing but time. Man, I hate when you not only are a dick, but spawn enemies, and then also spawn uh, another enemy in the form of this uh, freaking skull... The, 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 the... What am I? Skull turret. That's what I'm trying to say. I got too deep in this Stallone impression there. Couldn't find my way out. It was like Inception all over again. You know, they pitched me on that. I was supposed to play the Marion Cotillard part. That's... That would be ridiculous. Give it a sec. Grab that. We don't need the other scent, probably. No arcade, so we're probably not getting into this boss trap room. One makes you small is completely acceptable. Let's check our secret room as we're going. Totally fine. Great time for a steam sale. All right. <laughs> not a steam sale. That's also still okay. Remember, we can't donate anything, unfortunately, so... Kind of left out to dry on that. Totally forgot we had hot bombs. Every spirit heart counts. This is where I'm banking on some guppy chances, man. I feel bad asking for guppy when we also got brimstone. And I mean, to a lesser extent, mom's wig even is really good, but... I'd like to be able to generate flies. Man, that's not even close to what I asked for, little Chad. I mean, I know you're pretty unlikely to actually give me a guppy item in a situation like that, but still. I wasted a key there. I didn't even have to waste a key. We could have just easily left. I really thought that would work. Um, we could have just easily uh, left it till the end. Instead, you screwed me. Honestly, I don't think we take anything here. I you could take the death card. It's a waste. <laughs> I was like, take the death card for one room and then come back. That's not really my style. Wish we could donate more on this one. Oh, well. All right. We can bend the laser a little bit. It's nice when it works. And when it doesn't, well, we're only a, a second or two away from another shot anyway. That was really easy. No deal with the devil. I can live with it. We get the Polaroid. The Polaroid has given us the Fool. Doesn't really matter whether we have Fool or Stars. Rosary is not good enough. Holy Water is bad. God's Flesh is not great. Celtic Cross? Well, let's we'll take God's Flesh. And is this any good at all? I honestly have no idea. <laughs> but it does it does do one of the things I love an item to do, and that's make our brimstone laser uh, change color slightly. Huge advantage there. You think it's a secret room? It's not. So we're not getting into that boss trap room. Not getting into that boss trap room. Not getting into that room. Sing it with me. You guys have heard this one. Not getting into that boss trap room. Not getting into that room. I'll sing the harmony. And let's be honest, I'm not, I'm not singing anything but the bass. Not getting into that boss trap room. Not getting into that room. Well, we got the mom transformation. I figured we'd skip one floor, basically. I hope I didn't skip a deal with the devil there. I looked around, and uh, to my best uh, eyes, I didn't see one. You know, if we get an emperor, if we get an emperor card, we are going to use an emperor card. Figured, why not use it on the womb one? Try to expedite the awkward process of getting a deal with the devil. In a way, it probably worked, because we will st uh, still probably be able to have a good chance of getting a deal with the devil down here, so. Guppy, 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 guppy. That's not guppy at all. All right, now we can see where we're going, and this is the right direction. That is a terrible room. And it continues to get worse. Hey, we did learn something, though. God's flesh does work for us here. Not going to do that uh, mob trap room. 
I'm not gonna sing this song again. Uh, to be honest with you, not enough people sang along. You don't deserve it. You guys ever had one of those moments at like a school assembly where they're like, "Hey, kids, how you doing?" And then you're like, "Good." And he's like, "I can't hear you." And then you're like, "Good." And he's like, "No, seriously." You gotta take it, you know, one level up to even get me to talk. And then everyone's like, fine, you self-indulgent piece of shit. Good. And then he's like, that's better. You can't do that. You can't go three levels. You only go two levels. It's acceptable to try to get people's excitement one level up. You say, hey, how's everybody doing out there? And then they go, ooh. Then you go, I can't hear you. And they take it to the next level. And then even if they don't take it to the next level, you just say that's better. And then you get on with your fucking speech. Don't make them dance like they're they're a fucking clown for you just because you're up on stage. You're up on stage at my fucking, you know, 50 student strong uh, elementary school, you know. This isn't Carnegie fucking Hall. Just get on with your anti-drug speech and we'll have a good rest of the day. Okay, finally we actually did get a deal with the devil. It's Brother Bobby. Not gonna pick up that brother, Bobby. Not gonna pick up that brother, Bobby. <laughs> this does not work at all. Okay, we're heading up to the cathedral. I'm not fighting Hush on this one. Our damage is honestly not that good. We would be fighting Hush forever. Uh, we can see where we're going, though. It's yet another fast run. And I think, you know, that's that's fairly excusable. Given that, uh, you know, we started with Brimstone. So, and it's, the reason for this is fairly obvious. The Necronomicon. Book of the Dead. Mm. Well, at least we got a key out of it. Apart from that, kind of a big whiff. I think we should fight the mini boss as well. I have to be honest though, I'm like a little concerned about our relative lack of HP. Even though it's not horrible, um, it could get pretty bad soon. And I also worry that. Um... Oh, that was bullshit. <laughs> I'm not even going to pick up the left hand at this point in our lives. I also worry that. Um... Once we start fighting more difficult enemies, things are going to get rough, but uh, I guess I gotta, I gotta admit that a fully sustained brimstone laser one-shotting enemies is still pretty good, even if the rate of fire is lower than I'd like because of the Eve's Mascara pickup, obviously. wonder if you, okay, what if you like go like this and then just do a little wiggle? Eh, uh, you can sort of pivot around an axis there. It's not super functional, but it's okay. So we know exactly where we're going, of course. Hopefully we get another battery charge along the way. Probably not, but uh, could happen. Definitely want to get that key. That was a horrible dodge, and we were not punished for it. If anything, we were actually lauded for it. Um, we, we killed the enemy so much faster than we otherwise would have been able to. You know, I have to say that my Reflection Brimstone is pretty horrible. But, I do like being able to hit, like, enemies that are not just in a straight line with one another. Now, sometimes I can't even hit an enemy that's right in front of me, and that's what's frustrating. That's what makes it not as good. However, when you can hit, like, multiple enemies that are not on a, you know, a linear axis, that's where the good stuff comes in. Alright, he's gonna be dead soon. We do basically have mapping as long as we don't get Curse of the Lost on the next floor. Oh, he did die. Thank God. Um, I don't know. Maybe you try to make Temperance work. There's a chance we could get a payout and it would be good, I guess. Doesn't really hurt us to try. Samson's Chain, Fear Shunt, Rotten Baby's really good. Speed plus range upgrade from Roid Rage. It's, it's not a horrible draw. I mean, speed is valuable. Range is effectively worthless, but speed is valuable. Gets us closer to spun on the off chance that ever happens. Uh, just go for it. Okay, you can get four plays out of that. That's good to know. I'm trying to be really aggressive off the start here. Like, we have this advantage where as long as we hit an enemy, we can be relatively sure that they're going to die, especially if we can get a little bit of a, a bonus dessert, you know, of that uh, cube of meat doing damage. So, if, like, we can run into an enemy before they even properly initialize themselves. Well, that's just, you know, life is but a dream. Unfortunately, it hasn't really been working out. In fact, I took some damage on the last room trying to do it this way. Okay, 
What a bizarrely, like, really good, but also kind of horrible run. Like, we just never really got anything that, that put us... Well, let's put it this way. We got too big too fast, you know? It's like inheriting, like, two billion dollars when an uncle you don't know dies. Not two billion, let's say, like, 25 million dollars when an uncle of yours dies. But then one of your friends goes on to, like, found Microsoft or something, you know? You're always gonna be like, well, I could have two billion dollars if I just followed the path that they took. Like, on this one, I'm wondering if we, like, didn't take Brimstone early, if, if we'd have, like, a cooler possible run due to deals with the Angel or something like that. But you can't really be mad about it, you know, because we're... We can't Walter White about it or anything like that. We're still having a great run. A run that most people would kill for. Just kind of a cut below where you might expect it. But for now, that's done. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did... Click the like button, helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.